And they upgraded the harvester. Oh, I didn't have that. They didn't have the last, did they? Mm -hmm. oh. I'd ask them if I didn't have cold glass or something. Did you get that before, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, Look at that baseball. He's just had his teeth. He's just had his dinner on his little baby. I know. Mm. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> Look. I know, it never ends. Did Paul tell you we took him to have his professional photo done? Did you? <laughs> well, me good? and my mum took him because mum was getting her dogs done. Mm -hmm. I treated the two of them. We got it on the CD, we got to print it out and get it framed. It's quite good. Mm -hmm. But they were chaining them with like a cocktail sausage. Mm. That's like the salad we had at the harvest, yeah, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. But you get all the wee stuff and you can put in it all the wee. They had the, the, the freshly baked white rolls, didn't they? Mm. Oh, we had to wait a bit though because they'd been closed all day because oh, really? the remote was off. So. Mm. Mm. Now we're going to go to TGI Fridays, but it's really expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We just had the chicken was really good. That's the best chicken in there. The harvester is good, isn't it? Yeah. The harvester. I've got to submit some work into uni this weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, as well, so I thought we'd just come up there and find a back up. So. Mm -hmm. and I finished my assessment there on Thursday and I passed all that. Really? Passed my two assessments. Ah, good. Good. I've just got two more, day, yeah, really? two more weeks left and that's me here. I'm on holiday. Mm -hmm. I'm really not Are you not away in Blackpool the same time we are? Three weeks. Is it three weeks? Monday the 8th. Yeah, you're in Blackpool the same time we are. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it's only a bit of a rest for all that. Like, it's not no time longer than me at all. If I see you, I'll walk by you. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going on the Sunday, aren't we, Paul? If I get my holidays up here. Can you do it, though? Monday. If we go down on the Sunday and we leave Blackpool on the Tuesday, we've got the lakes. Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Well, you're only down there for Sunday to Tuesday. We only will be down there for Monday afternoon. Oh, are you? Yeah. Well, the bus leaves in the morning, so... Yeah, we'll keep your phone up. Mm -hmm. Where's the hotspot hotel you're staying at? We're up at the... Uh, Where's the hotspot hotel you're staying at? We're up at the South, the South Pier. Uh -huh. See, when you got to the South Pier, it's Station Road. It's just uh -huh. right across to the entrance, right? Station Road. And it's in Elmo's. It's about three hotels mm -hmm. down. On that, on the right hand uh, side, right. and it's just like a boarding type boarding house, but the East Elmos is wrote up. Mm. Right on the corner. Did you breakfast? Yeah, breakfast. Aye, ours is breakfast in the evening. Oh, you get evening meal? I live at the bus journey. Yeah, the bus journey. Ah, but we'll get down there like seven, two o'clock. Yeah, I just, you know, I just, you just sometimes you actually forget that you have the. The illness, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and you're there to treat the symptoms of the chemo mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. than anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but as I say, it will be in weeks. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice to have back to the speciality, you know. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, she starts searching. She's had to give a month's notice, so. Oh, she she started in a month. But, I mean, the staff that she looks after, but two hundred and fifty of them. And they're on three different shifts. I know, it's hard. That's the only thing. Because when she done it last time, she would have to go in maybe during the night because there was young nurses started that she didn't know. Mm. And then she says, you've got to find out my fairly we know everything, you know. And she says, I told them. She says, I stipulated everything I didn't want to do when I was there the first time. She says, because we'd send me to maybe a pop because of one of the worst people we have up. It's like in a home total black area mm. and um, she says that you'd maybe have to go and if a nurse was not doing everything right uh, you would to go and assess them uh -huh. and she says sometimes you'd come back and it's twenty thousand dollars to train them up or whatever and she says I had to come back she now used to have to say to the management this, just say goodbye to your twenty thousand dollars because this nurse is never going to be a nurse Aww. she says and I hated that ma but she said that was my opinion, mm -hmm. but she just was never going to go over the problems that she had. Mm -hmm. And But she says, I told them this time, no, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. Somebody else needs to do that, no mm -hmm. me. It's funny you should say that, actually, that we have a, a guy in the Golden Jubilee that I've been for the last 12 weeks as a student guy, mm -hmm. in there and he's in his first year. And I don't know how old he is, but you can tell... I know that he's not going to make it. Uh, 
uh, just because of the way he shows up late every morning. He comes in four to five to fifty minutes late. And it's like, so... so they don't pull him up. Well, he has. He's been pulled up so many times. Aye, aye. And then one day he never turned up at all. Ooh. Not phoned in or nothing. And then he phoned up at five o'clock. Oh, dear. And I answered the phone. And I was just like, good afternoon. Uh, I'll deputy Gap Bridge. That's Kirstine speaking. And he went, Kirstine, it's Josh. I was mm. like, oh, hello. Mm. How are you? He went, can you give a message to the senior charge nurse? And I misplaced the number and I couldn't phone. I was like... Well, she's just here, I'll just pass you over. I was like, I'm not passing messages for anybody. No, no. He needs to speak to the charge nurse mm-hmm. about that. Yeah, they would need to speak to anyway, her. Anyway, I heard the nurses moaning about him the other day. They were like, that's him again, turned up 45 minutes late. I'm going to have to put that down on his mm-hmm. assessment. But what he fails to realise is he's not going to make it because no. he'll fail him for that. No, that attitude. I mean... In a job, who's looking after your patients for 45 you know, minutes you, while you come into you come and you to in? Then, in. Then, where could you go in? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And he walks about and he's like, mm-hmm. walks about and he's like his own. Mm-hmm. You know, and you, you've got patients to deal with. And no, he's not got the right attitude for that job. Uh-huh. Well, I, don't, I don't think he's going to make it. And then he said to me, he says, oh, I had an exam. Mm. I says, how do you think you've done? He went, oh, I don't know. It's this exam, because I've sat the exam yeah, as well. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. He's been through, you know, mm-hmm. that year. I said, well, see that exam you did? You had to you had to revise for that. Yeah. He went, yeah. oh, dear. I was like, yeah. I says, you won't pass that. And there's a lot of people that failed that exam. Mm-hmm. Because they never revised. They didn't mm-hmm. know. Because oh, it's, it's, it's the workings of the heart. Yeah. And it's yeah. the workings of the lungs and the kidneys. And all that. It's physiology you need to know. She does look like she did too. Kind of frightened, hard to keep that part. She wants to give her a bit of brain stuff. I'm not a strong willed person like that. Well, you know how it's been with you, Paul. You're just saying. Well, how it turned out. I mean, look, she fell out with Christine. Yeah, I was telling Christine that. I know. She told me that story one night. She was like, "Um, what was it she said to me? She says, well, uh, you know, you've crossed my bridges or something. Do you know what I mean? She fell out with my Uncle Alan recently. Yeah. Aye, but they've had a heart-to-heart. What? They've had a heart-to-heart. What, they've been kissed and made up? Aye, he's kind of... I can understand it. I'm kind of looking at it from both angles. It's no easy caring. I couldn't imagine it's very easy looking after you. Oh, no. Elderly parents. Oh, no, no. Who... My mum's quite demanding. My mum's phoning her up at all hours. Mm -hmm. She's holding down a job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's no easy, right? So giving all my due, it really isn't easy. Oh, well, not very easy. And yeah. then I think her brother, he's in he's the eye, and she'd asked him to come over to give her a wee hand because she was struggling because she was off work with stress recently because mm. of it all. And um, he, he never came over and then he'd come over and she kind of had a chat and says, you know, I need you to help me do more. And I think he'd, he'd kind of said to her, well, you go for holiday and I'll come over and watch mum and dad. So mm-hmm. I think they kind of sorted it. But, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, no, no, I feel it's... It's, it's a long, it's, tedious job. Uh, I mean, you don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. It's even worse. But I think, I mean, as much as Nana's a lovely person, she's very demanding. Yeah, sure. Very demanding. I've never thought that. But this is... Well, that was when I was working in A&E. Uh, uh, get down. Uh, she was a wee soul. She'd been dead uh, down for the months. She'd been lying in her beds. This was, I was doing a shift in April, beginning of April, in A&E in the Southern. Mm-hmm. And she'd been, the wee lady was brought in by ambulance. Mm-hmm. And they said, oh, you'll need a glove up for this one. Mm-hmm. She had to get everything on. Mm-hmm. Um, poor woman. Bowled her over and everything... She'd actually been lying in her old feces mm. since Christmas. Oh, how could somebody leave what somebody? What are you doing me? I'm not really doing you. That's right. <laughs> how could somebody... doing me talking about that? <laughs> how, oh, oh, oh. how could somebody la- 
Why in that state? Uh, no, the problem. It's no easy if you can't. You've been the up. Is that real? How can you? But then that, that smell. That was. It, it turned out it was a man. Did you know say? You shouldn't have said these things, I think it's terrible. Because I said to her, I says, no, my mum's from here. They're racist. Uh-huh. They're racist. It's quite a racist comment, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's racist saying that. And my mum, I mean, my mum's from there, my dad's from Melbourne, I was born in Elgin, my brother was born in Aberdeen, we're all, mm-hmm. you know. They were born in mm-hmm. Scotland. Yeah. My passport says born in Scotland, you know. That's racist to say that. Just because so. I was brought up there in England because of my dad's work. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had no choice but to live in England because my dad's work. I, I know they'd say what were Geordie's scousers or anything, but that's talking about a district. I know. I mean, they call us like. You say, say Glasgow, they call you Glaswegian. Yeah, they say like you're Whereas the Northern. Highlands, they speak proper English. It was quite funny. Yeah. I had a patient phone for me the other day at work, uh-huh. and um, one of my colleagues answered the phone, and uh, the patient couldn't remember my name. I'd left her a message saying. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's an uh, English speaking nurse. <laughs> 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 and then I took over the phone call and then I turned, I finished, I put on the list and she was delighted. And she said, oh, you've made my day, you've made my day. I was like, well, that makes my job that's good nice. That's good to make somebody's day. Uh-huh. And then I put the phone down and then I said to Mel, my colleague, I said, do I really sound that English? She went, yep. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was asking for an English speaking nurse. Uh, English it's speaking cursed. Nurse. Uh, English speaking nurse. <laughs> okay. I'll be mean then. <laughs> so, yeah, it just shows you, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. But that's just picking out a person's accent. Mm. You know, mm. that to. Here, well, he's come up to visit, visit my nana, and mm. every weekend we were up. All the wee pals and all that, like, used to play outside. My cousins used to, like, laugh at our accents because mm. me and Lewis always spoke English. English. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, Lewis is more prominent than mine from our accent. Uh-huh. You know, it just mm-hmm. wouldn't sound right alongside my cousins who were all taught me. Alright. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, it's amazing the different accents through the country. Uh, my mum told me I had a East Coast. <laughs> You're late, you still got that in a timer. <laughs> I've had that thing in a timer for, for years. years. For years, years Nana. Are you dreaming about bones? Or is he dreaming about bones? Bones. Did you take my bones? <laughs> we got my bones in the caravan in England. And did you eat it? Well, we ate some of it, but it was kind of one of those bones he couldn't get his mouth round. Uh, tell them, oh, we're, 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 oh, we're going to Florida. Mm-hmm. All the kids are going with them. And do you see them? Yeah, they're going to the It's the benefits. See if they've got, like, she'll be claiming disability benefit for a knee. For a knee, aye. She'll be claiming child benefit for her daughter. She'll be claiming child tax credit. Mm-hmm. She'll be claiming income support, whatever it is, mm-hmm. they're all incapacity. Mm-hmm. And she get a red, full rent paid for her, a full council tax paid for her. Mm-hmm. Without working and trying mm-hmm. to save up so we can have a meal. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's wrong. It is wrong. 
Oh, I'd have to go on it because yeah. he did. Aye, because Lockheed doesn't get nothing for his own day's work. Yeah, he doesn't, yeah. It's terrible, isn't it? Lockheed doesn't get a thing for it. It's terrible. Because I remember... So you need to work? I don't know, but if you can't get a job between the, the months that you can't find a job, then you've got to, you've got to, you've got to survive somehow. Because Lockheed works for that man. Mm-hmm. He gives him a couple of jobs. But I mean, it's no, it's no every day. Well, that's not good it's work, just for the man. But when he told somebody about it, he says, Oh, and you're in benefits. Loki says, I don't get one penny for them. I can work whenever I want to work mm-hmm. because I don't get a penny for the brew or the government or anything. Mm-hmm. He says, so I, I don't have any uh, benefits. I know, but wouldn't he be better off getting a full It's the people, no. He would be, but can he get any? It's the people. Like Paul, applying for him a plan. It's his age. He's mm-hmm. 63. What did he use? What was his trade before? Plasterer. Plaster of Ogles. Couldn't he advertise that at his own business? He did. He sent me cards and mm-hmm. advertised in the paper. Mm-hmm. See people. The, the jobs are just not there. Just mm-hmm. So this man that he works for, he gets a lot of, like, I don't know if he's in the masons or whatever, but he seems to get work from a bigger firm that maybe can't handle. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. they phone him up and say, can you take this? We've got this. How often does that happen? Quite a lot. Just, uh, but Andrea says he's slipping all the money with him. They're all good against us. They're all rotten. Mm. 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 Yeah, and you knew see. that Miguel, see that Miguel the Paul worked for? Mm-hmm. And you knew him. He says they're never rooting in the Berlin. He says that's where I met that Miguel in mm. Berlin. And he says all the ones that worked for him in the bus, says they're all gangsters. Yeah, yeah they're all gangsters. I told you that when I got the job. Because yeah. I remember getting the McGill's job and then I picked up the phone to phone my pal Stephen. You know, and I was like, oh, I just got a job. Um, uh, I'm working for McGill's company. He's like, ah, hey, they're gangsters, Paul. Ah, uh, I heard they were gangsters. I'm like, ah, what, what have I got myself into here? Oh, I know, look, you said. And I knew it was all funny because then I was only in it two weeks and bus drivers were getting sacked left, left, right and centre and walking out and all this kind of thing and there was always dramas and come like two months they were like, ah, we don't need you, but bye. Mm-hmm. Well, Paul, they can do that in the Premier then because you're under contract and they would be mm-hmm. open for another tribunal. I know, and then it didn't work for them, the girls. No, they'd left it that They'd left. Mind that we went, we did the driving last night and we go around that wee yeah, bit. Yeah, but Paul, you're only with them two months. See if you've been with the company over a year. Oh, your rights ah, change. Your rights, your rights then, Paul. After a year, and you've been with the Premier yeah, in after yeah. a year, so you're now well protected. Yeah, they've hung themselves really with keeping you on the year. Mhm. Uh-huh. Yep. Mhm. So they're not getting rid of you, Paul. I'm sorry, myself, I'm like, can I believe that years just went? I know it's been a rights change, Paul. Last two years I've been at a. Two years I've been at a. I've been out of that baby for you.